Well, I've got a big green button over there. I wonder what that can mean. I've definitely won something. Let's go find out. I'm Admiral Pegasus and this is Star Trek Fleet Command. Good evening guys and welcome back to the channel. Now as you can see, Jellyfish Pursuit. Yes, I have actually entered the event. And so what I'm going to do is, I've got, this This is VT. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play for you and it's going to give you some of the final stages that I took um, doing this. So we'll, we'll get the play button going. So, and then we'll try, we'll, there we go, get rid of all that one. So as you can see, down on the bottom there is I'm already ranked fifth place in this, and this was partly because I'd done three rare armadas. Um, I'd done a tier level on my Meridian from tier seven to tier eight, and I managed to get one component of the tier nines done as well. Also, you can tell by the time of how long is left, I literally left these last few bits till the end. So, what you're going to see here is literally what I did. So as you can see as well, I'm going to also show you what I, what my target is for this. So, when we eventually find there she is. There's the jellyfish. As you can see, 64 blueprints. So, which means all I need is a mi maximum, uh, bare minimum, the third place. That is it. Now, as you saw in the intro, we've got a green button. Yes. And what I'm going to do is, regardless of what outcome happens... And yes, this video is being rego recorded regardless. I'm just going to quickly go on about the jellyfish today. Yeah, I thought I might as well. So it, it's a handy little ship. I've killed a few in a PvP battle. And so I just want to... I'm hoping I can put a, together a, a nice jellyfish video. So here we go, cracking on. Uh, there are going to be a few points where there's a bit delay Because obviously at the, at the time I was doing this, I was helping my partner do uh, uh, the family tea. So, hopefully, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll speed it up a little bit. But as you can see there, I've started Dry Dock G. So if we go forward a little bit, uh, a little bit more, a little bit more. Yeah, we're still on um, Dry Dock. Yeah, I, let, I kept that going for a little bit. So, um, there we go, 23 days, so I must be getting to the point of speed. Yep, yeah, sped it up. There we go, so let that carry on playing, and as you can see how much it's going to cost me just to food that day. I did throw away a fair bit of latinum on this, so here we go. So, threw away some latinum, there you go, oh it's now up to 40 water. Then I looked at the gun and realised I've overspent on my gas with, with the Meridian. Yeah, so it kind of rolled that gun out because that was going to be a decent whack of points as well. But I had the ge generators going, the dilithium generators, and this is also on my progression towards Ops 42. I've got to do these to do certain points. So, the, so for anyone watching, also as well as the jellyfish event, yeah, a little bit. So I've got to do 41 to upgrade um, generator A, to do generator B, to upgrade the vault, which will in turn allow me to do... Um, the ops it's going to be one of the stages I need to do. Um, also, I've got to do the shipyard as well. As um, once I get the crystal for that, yeah. But that's an awful lot of crystal. But anyway, as, as you can see, we're going through it. There's the thing, and then basically that was as much as I was able to do because I went through a few other stuff and I I just couldn't find a building that I needed to do that needed more uncommon. Which was a bit of a bugger, really. Considering up there was a 39, which I could have used gas on. G4 gas, I could have used it on that that building. I didn't think. I didn't think to look up there. But I sped through some more, lat a pile of latinum as well, looking through it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the VT there. And then I'm going to stop the VT. And what we're going to do is we're going to move into game. So bear with me while we transition. 
Okay, so here we are back in the game. As you see, that green button's still clicking. Now, like I said, no matter what, we are going to do a jellyfish event. And what we'll do is before we press that green button, before we press that green button, let's have a look at it, shall we? Now, this is a PVE ship. No questions. Don't even try using it for PvP because, to be honest, it is perfectly crap when it comes to PvP. Um... Let me move me little tagger down. So let me show you some screenshots because I've been doing Rescue the Crew as well. And once I completed the event, I carried on going back and f shooting a few more ships. So um, let me just find the correct ship. Ship, ship E, no, one ship. There we go, ship D, retrieving. So here we go. So these are some of the players that I took on. Now, um, we, right. Cosmos, no, he was definitely running an Enterprise. I had to send him a message, tell him to get Spock off the bridge. Here we go. Lord Vader. Now, yes, I know what you're going to say. That's a PvE crew. You're going to win hands down. Yes, you're right. You are going to win hands down against that. And it is only level 21. So it's a tier, I think it's a tier 5. Yeah, it's a tier 5. So, again, not really much of a, um, an, a, a good example there but yeah so uh, right so we've got here we go another pve crew but this one was only a tier three as well so um Sine, did you no you ran a d4 so and it was nice to actually have some victories as well and yes i, I took a load of pve but the one thing is to me there was an active open system for pvp if you enter that system, you are volunteering yourself to be shot by another player. So, regardless of diplomatic status. And it, some of these guys appear, have the same philosophy as well because they kept flying in regardless. Some of them did try giving me the run around. A couple of them did cloak to get away from me. What a cut and a couple of them also cloaked to attack me. I do have a couple of cloaked enemies in the list. Um, by, by the looks of it, well, I'm not going to be able to find, um, Borg, nope, I don't think I'm going to be able to find a, another jellyfish, so, but last night I just got into a phase of, you know what, I'm having a night off, chilling out, do some PVE, do some research and all that, and I was just going to ignore Alliance chat. Just, yeah, you know, I just wanted a peaceful night. Nah, I still ended up helping my alliance. So, no, that was an Enterprise. A, a pretty badly damaged Enterprise. <laughs> what are you running now? You're running D3. Okay, so we're not going to find one. But you got the general gist, even with a PvE crew. Yes, most ships with a PvE crew in a PvP situation will not work. Now, the problem is, is because these battles don't usually go on very long. So, yeah. And uh, I'll tell you what, let's just click on that button and we'll click Explorer. We'll find the jellyfish a lot faster. So there you go. It's still 64. And it's this. This is this is its best feature. 15% damage bonus every round. And that just builds up and up and up. And there is it's similar to like Khan with his crit with his um critical chances. He improves it by um X percent every time the ship is hit. So it just grows and grows and grows. Higher up, mine's tier four, so mine, mine gets 4%. It's 1% per tier, topping out at 5%. And that, but it takes multiple rounds to get going. Whereas on the flip side, you've got Honor Guard Wharf, he'll work for the first eight rounds. Critting out, yeah. But, there you go, so, and th there's its stats. So not exactly, you know, not exactly a, a powerful ship when it comes to shooting, if I'm honest. So, but like I said, this is more ideal for PvE grinding, especially going into those cap. When you get it to about tier four, getting it into those capital systems to take on those heavy traders, this thing can take them off because the lo they go longer rounds, which means that is going to benefit you greatly. Yeah. So that's what you really want to be looking for. So for those who do decide to use this in PvP, please don't. Yeah, you might get the odd win. But a properly loaded out crew, 
an enterprise. This this kicks off at three million. A proper enterprise at one and a half million will probably smash this. Maybe maybe two million will smash this. If it's popular that and the clues are done and the research done and everything else. So, but yeah, um, health for shields. There you go. One million. So it's it's got a cred credibly strong hull and pretty good shields for kicking out of the box. But as well, don't forget as well, I have our explorer research as well and all that's done. The only research I haven't got is a G4 hull booster, which I'm going to put on to um, show now. So, as well, kicking out of the box, it's got a speed of impulse speed of 99. It is a slow lumbering ship. It's about as fast as a battleship, really. Um, and a warp range of 60. Ideally, you do need to get this to tier 4 for you to reach those stand, stand systems like around Hollies in Federation space and similarly in Romulan and Klingon territories where you can go grind ships in there. But even warp 60 will still get you to the soul system. Now, am I going to show you this in a PvP battle? A PvE battle? I might just throw it in near the end. But that's it. That green button says I'm a winner. I still got six, um, 56 shards to get. So, but like I said, I'm going to show you the jellyfish as best I can before we find out. So, should we go for it? I'll I tell you what, before we go for it, I'm just going to get rid of a piece of... Re I'll tell you what. Research. Research, research. Let's have a gander, shall we? Let's go to it. So what we need to do is we need to go into the combat tree, if I remember correctly. Scroll all the way across. Oh, there is hull density. It is advisable to get this done because it will improve, as you see, increases base hull health of all grade four ships by X percent. So it's starting off at 16% and giving me a power boost of 48,000. And so obviously it tops out 200%. Nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw that in. Now I've got to be careful here because I haven't got a lot of latinum. I'll tell you what, I'm not going to I'm not going to put the research in because if I'm a winner, I want to get this thing out the dock. Yeah, I want to get it out of the dock. So we're not going to do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for myself to get some more latinum to do it. Let's have a look at the other speed ups I've got. Uh, 37. That's just over a day. Yeah, I, I haven't got. Yeah, I've burned through a lot of speed ups and latinum in the last, um, what, 30 hours? So, but anyway, I'll tell you what. So without further ado, let's click into the station. Sorry for the form over the camera. The camera's literally right there. Yeah, that's where the camera is. So, let's push the button. Yes, we're gonna push the button. What are we gonna get? What's coming up first? Battle pass points. Yay, I want some battle pass points. Okay, so, now I will say, if I did win it, I haven't got the materials to take it up to tier two, I don't think. Got it! <laughs> yes! I got a jellyfish. I got a jellyfish. And a few G3 materials as well. So, <laughs> so let's see. Come on, let's do it. Oh, I'm buzzing now. I, I, I've been wanting to get this shit for the last several months, but I've always struggled, really struggled, to get the materials together because obviously there's a lot of other stuff that I need materials. Oh, look at that, it's lit up. It's lit up. Oh, all 35 days. Let me think. Do, do, do. Boom. Easy. Easy. And there she goes. In construction. So. Need helps guys fast. So get some helps. Usually when I bang out a quick message just saying need some helps, they're pretty good at getting it. So 
we're going to get an opportunity to actually showcase it. Now, downside is I don't have my PvE crew back. So, we're going to have to bring them home. Yes, they was out doing the Stella. Yeah, now the one thing is because that I'll see that green button had come up at the change of events, I couldn't see what events come up. So I was relying on my alliance to actually tell me what events had come up and everything. So, and they told me Stella had come up. Awesome. So, as you've noticed, I don't have the second repair thing unlocked. I don't see the point of spending 20 quid when I've got a crap load of speed ups to use. So, but it it is a benefit. A lot of players do actually use it. Even Rev Juice has got it. So, and Ultimate D, I think Ultimate DJ has got it. I can't say I've ever seen him use it. Um, new, ah, oh, blooming camera. New ship to launch on camera. So that that'll that'll encourage them to get us. So we're already down to 33 and a half days. So right, let's get the Stella repaired. And then she's all ready to go. So load out there. PV uh, PMC. Let's move it down. And that's me officers. So right. now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna move this to the soul system. Probably the worst idea I could do right now. But yeah, you know. I'm 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 full of stupid ideas. Yeah, just absolutely full of them. So we're gonna jump the discovery in ready. What are we up to? Six helps. I'm, I'm not even. The downside to being not in a Commodore is the fact you can't see when you look at your life board who's actually online. You need to be a Commodore or higher. So, I don't know who's online, but. So, but what I will do is. Just um, give him my coordinates. My base new ship launching momentarily. I've spelled that. Here we go. Momentarily. All right, so I'll move that back down, move that back up there. I've not unlocked the mantis yet. <laughs> So, just let them know that I've got a new ship coming. They've got no idea what ship, but some of them will have an idea because if they follow our Discord, they're going to know. So, what are we up to? Seven helps down to 32 days. Ooh. I'll tell you what, that's long enough. That is long enough. So, what we're going to do... 33 days. Not bad. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Here we go. Boom. Let's watch. Bit of an ugly ship really, isn't it? Yeah, I'm watching the screen. I, I could do it like that. But no, I, I want to watch it launch out. So, there you go. A tier one ISS jellyfish. Admiral Pegasus is now the proud owner of her. Yes. So, why don't we check her out? So. So, did did de let's, um. Oh, bloody hell. So, it looks like someone's come to a witness. Um. My lordy, I've got to move the camera around quite a lot. Oh, look at that! Cracking out, nearly four million. So, you saw on camera what this thing was going to launch out at 3 million 3.6 million wow looks like we can already do a fair whack of great upgrades but what we're going to do is we're going to shoot that up so let when the thing ca like catches up will be downside to mobiles 
Okay, so we're not going to sit here and wait for that to click over. There you go. Oops. So it's 3.6 million out that we're going to be launching at. Boom. There you go, guys. I am now the. <laughs> I've got a jellyfish. Woohoo! <laughs> So, I'm happy the fact I finished in third place. That was the target, and I absolutely got it. Nice. I tell you what, let's see what points I got for it as well. Let's see what points. So, scroll over here. ISS Jellyfish Pursuit. Final score, four point four and a half million points. That's not bad, considering when I did my maths, I was aiming at five million. So even losing that one building, I still managed to scrape through. So, and also one of my Alliance members, Tedda, congratulations as well. And also Dee Bowman, I took him out a couple of times to rescue the crew. But also proud owners now of a ISS jellyfish for our server. So that's now three jellyfishes added to our server via the pursuit. So, yeah. So if you're not if you're not seeing this event yet and you're below Ops 36, right, yeah, this event launches at Ops 36. So beware. But as the capital letters state, you cannot build it till you have a shipyard of 39. But for those below Ops 36, how do you score in this? Well, simple. Spend rare or epic Armada directives, and it's got to be the regular the original Armadas release like independent space, Klingon space, Romulan space, and Federation space. It's those Armadas only. 75 points per directive for the rare and 100 points per directive for the epic. So you're looking at a roughly 15,000 for a rare, 500 times 100. What's that about? 50,000? Something like that? 50,000? Maybe half a million? I don't know. But it's a fair whack. That's a fair whack. The more you can do, the better. But I guarantee you, that is actually the worst way you can do it. It is the worst way you can do it. G3 materials. This is one of the best ways to do it. Uncommons and rares. If you've got stuff that need the rares, absolutely best way around it. But as well, if you are struggling with materials and you're able to start procuring G4, this includes for those at 36 to 39, if you're able to start procuring G4 materials, uncommon and rare, they score exactly the same. Build them up. Get to Ops 41, then get in this event and blast your base to 42. Yes, you, you're gonna, it's not the most efficient way, but the one thing is if you're obviously in that bracket, where you can do this event. G3 materials are absolute premium for when it comes to doing your base, your ships, your research. So unless you're prepared to pay out of your actual pocket real money, save up your G4 and commons that you can procure. They're very small in mounts. By 39, you'll start probably seeing a little trickle every now and again. When you hit 40, you'll definitely get them. So, yeah, save, save them up and then blast your base. Meridian. Save them up for your Meridian. Build your Meridian up a few tiers. You've got two Meridians. Build them up a couple of tiers. That's what got me started. It shot me with the Meridian and a little bit of research. It shot me up to second. I thought, wow. Okay, I might have a chance. I might actually have a chance. So I started trickling some research through with G3 materials. More aiming at the red crystal because that's what I had the most of. But I was trickling it through and then I kept an eye on it today. Just thinking, hey, I'm not going to do anything more yet. Just wait. 10 to 4, 5 to 4. Sorry, 10 to 5, 5 to 5. Banging some buildings. Boom. I'm now walking away with the jellyfish. Obviously, you can procure the jellyfish through the epic... Um, I might have chess as well, but I tell you what, you've got a better chance of um, winning the lottery. Actually, no, you haven't, to be perfectly frank. But anyway, so that is the jellyfish, and what we're going to do now is because it is crewed out, ready to go. We are now going to take it to Seoul. 
And we are going to... Right, let's get rid of these two boxes. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to put it up against the big one first. Let's see how it fares. So, as you can see, just there, three and a half million, all right? This is no weapon upgrades yet. So, let's see how it fares. And, yeah, we will look at a battle log. 26 million points. I got B. How badly did I hit it? I forgot Parabellum was on tonight. Barely touched it. Barely touched it. Okay, so that's fair dues. Maybe I need to use a correct crew. Um, Rare, Beverly Crusher. Khan and Skinny Mud. We could always try them. And I will. I will throw them in. So, oh, this is not complete Parabellum. This is not complete Parabellum. How many more points have I got to go? Um, where's, where, where is it? Where? Uh, there she is. Parabellum. Wow, one million points. One million points. Woo! Okay, I'm guessing the jellyfish didn't hit enough. So let's just have a quick look. How many rounds did we do? 17 rounds. No, we didn't hit enough. Right. There's only one way this is going to go down. There's only one way this is going to go down. And I'll tell you what. Oh, seven hour repair. And there's a... It's time to break the auger out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly repair. We're going to play a little game of hopscotch here. So let's change that. This is the, this is the crew loadout I've been using for my PvP. Yeah. Not bad. I won a fair few fights as well. So there's Mud. Uh, can't even. We'll put Kirk underneath. And then we'll scroll across to find... Where are you, Skinny? Skinny! There he is. Skinny Mud. And... Oh, Beverly! There she is. One of the most overdramatic doctors in Star Trek. So, oh, hello. Didn't want the refits. No, we don't want the refits, do we? So, oh, there we go. There's your gap. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to disco the auger in. Disco. Disco the jelly in ready. Because the jelly is going to turn tail. It's going to go up against a normal Federation transport. Oh, look, there's one there. So there we go. We'll send it straight in. This one's damaged. There we go. Boom. And I guarantee that's completed the event. And you can see how much damage my auger's taken. So, oh, God, we're getting Parabellum in this. We're getting a right mix of... Um... Not bad. Not bad. First time out, and it's taking it out. So I could probably kill about six or seven of them with the ISS jellyfish. That's going to improve my uh, Federation, uh, my Romulan faction grinding. But anyway, we're going to crack out this. So there you go, 20,000 on top of the 3,000 I've already had. Boom. So that means... No, it doesn't. No, I can't do it. Hang on. Let me work it out. Might be able to. Wrong one. So, right, so 25 days. And that was going to cost me 7,000. Yeah, I could probably actually do it. So what we're going to do as well is we're going to do that, book, that book research. Parabellum is a beautiful event. It is a beautiful event. So, oh, look at that. Boom, just enough, just enough. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna play a little bit of disco roulette. Okay, so sorry about that, the camera cut out again. So um, yeah, so what we're doing, it gonna do is, I'm just gonna move myself out of the way a minute to do this doom so yes I'm going to be using a fair whack of go-go juice but that's absolutely fine send him back 
because what we're going to do now is we're going to put the jellyfish in the place of the auger and then we're going to see how the jellyfish fares against the heavy now you know that I've, I've done some research, uh, research wow so right so let's get the Stella back in ready to go back and finish its grinding and then the auger jelly boom and then we're going to call the jellyfish in and then we're going to go against this one it's damaged but hey ho what the hell get rid of them so let's see how much damage we do this time obviously we're not going to be doing parabellum because we've already finished it and and I still lost but how much extra damage did I do I did a fair bit more damage that's not bad really okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna see if we can finish it off but what we're gonna do is we're gonna upgrade it a bit oh apparently now I can't upgrade anything oh what would you believe? <laughs> that research has just cleared me out of everything. So, obviously, we're not going to be able to upgrade it. But, never mind. Anyway, this has been the ISS Jellyfish. It has been the event. It has been the acquisition. It has been information. And 3.9 in base, that's not bad. It's been shooting. In, it's been showing a bit of PvP, uh, PvE. What more can you ask for in a video? And also Parabellum! For a level 41 player. I've been Admiral Pegasus. This has been the ISS Jellyfish. My new PvE grinder. I might take her out to play later. Yeah. Anyway. Stay safe everybody. And I'll catch you on the next video. Live long and prosper. Goodbye.